Hello, I'm Judy Baumhauer. I'm a professor in orthopedics and the associate chair of academic affairs within the department. Uh, the foot is a very complex structure. It's made up of 26 bones, 33 articulations. The foot itself accepts about uh, three to four times your body weight with every walking step and six to eight times your body weight with every running step. It, it has a, the, the joints and the um, structures in the foot have very small surface areas so they accept a lot of force. It's really a very fascinating uh, part of the body to work with. Foot problems are extremely common. Uh, more than 50% of Americans will have some foot problem in the course of their lifetime. If someone comes in and they have uh, pain in their forefoot, the things we often look at is we look to see if they have any excessive calluses on the bottom of their foot. And those calluses are really indicators of the area of the foot getting too much pressure. Uh, so dissipating those, that pressure or equalizing it over the level of the foot so may get rid of the pain. And we do that through inserts or orthotics. Uh, shoe types certainly uh, influence uh, your foot. And uh, shoes that are more s supportive have a, a softer sole that shock absorbs. That uh, is uh, usually um, better for your foot. High heels that pitch your foot down are going to load your foot in the forefoot. And that's going to give you, uh, over time, foot pain. Uh, there's also some research that shows that if you even pitch your heel an uh, inch and a half, you're going to increase the amount of forces across your forefoot by over 20%. Say if you're going to go out and uh, go to a wedding or a black tie affair, wear whatever you want, get there, and kick your shoes off under the table like all women do. It's okay. But don't wear those same shoes uh, to the, to, uh, the Pittsburgh Wegmans is what I usually say, uh, the grocery store. The other thing that shoes do is they support your foot, uh, particularly uh, as you walk around and to accommodate to the ground. So just walking on a sidewalk and you have a little crack in the sidewalk and it's uneven, the shoe will help you accommodate for that. There's types of shoes that don't give much accommodations and those include flip-flops and uh, some of the really soft, flexible shoes you can roll into a ball. Uh, that is asking the foot to do all of the job and the shoe to do none of it. If you are overweight, you're asking your foot to do more work. Uh, one of the really good news things about the foot is say you're overweight and you're, say, say you're really overweight, say you're very obese and you, you know you need to lose 100 pounds to be happy. Well, if you think about the foot, if you lost just 5 pounds, that's 20 pounds to the foot. So if you think about it in very small sections, it makes it more biteable and you can do it better. P people have a threshold. It seems like when they um, lose a certain amount of weight, uh, they feel better. They say, you know, I don't look, I, I want to lose more weight, but my foot feels dramatically better, and, uh, or my ankle, what, whichever. And I'll bet it holds true even though I'm not an e knee or hip expert. I'm sure it holds true for your knee and hip as well. Osteoporosis is a generalized bone problem. So it affects every bone in your body. Uh, it's not just your, even though the, the DEXA scan scans your back or your hips, it's, not, it's getting a generalized measure. So the foot really is influenced. And I'm, every day I must see one stress fracture. We live here in Rochester. We really don't have the sunshine that, that other places have. We also are putting on sunscreen so that we protect ourselves from any type of skin cancer. So we're not getting the vitamin D we usually, uh, we should. You, you might say, well, I drink a lot of milk and I eat, a, you know, I eat a lot of yogurt. We don't absorb vitamin D that well. So you're not getting it that well through that either. So general health in my clinic, I tell everyone to take 2,000 units of vitamin D3 and some added calcium. Calcium, we do a pretty good job with our diet if you're eating a good diet. But vitamin D, we just can't get it. If you find that you're having foot pain that is not uh, getting better with uh, simple measures like changing your shoes or changing your exercise pattern if it's brought on by exercise or even uh, anti-inflammatory medications, then have somebody help you because it's a quality of life issue. Uh, 
you know, we're, we're orthopedic surgeons uh, that are foot and ankle experts, and uh, we are um, very interested in getting you back to what you'd like to do.